So we finally have an official gameplay of MAPR's Rita's Rewind featuring the GOAT, the myth, the legend himself, Tommy Oliver, rest in peace, Jason David Frank. Enough talking, let's get to the reaction. Choose your ranger. Oh, wow. Tiger. Mastodon. Tyrannosaurus. Triceratops. Pterodactyl. Dragonzord. <laughs> this is so good. Rangers. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. We're both weird as a state. 2023 AD. Yeah, this is based off once no way. <laughs> oh man. I mean, it's just. Yo, the music, the graphics, everything about. Wait, so you just talk while fighting? What? Oh, I can't wait to get this game. Thirty years earlier. Ooh. Oh, so this is based off the day of the dumpster. I'm in love with this game already. This is good. This is perfect. Good luck, Rangers. Yesterday of the dumpster. I like that reference to the call of the day of the dumpster. And this music is reference to uh, the NFPR Super Nintendo days. I wonder if you can fight on more. You probably can't. <coughs> Let's go another round. Oh. I wonder if you can just run. You can just walk. Oh, you can just punch the rock and it'll hit the party. Okay. Yeah, I can already see people doing speed runs from this game. Just like Shredder's Revenge. Man, this is so cool, bruh. I love this. Keep it together, team. I like it. You know what? I find it funny how the guy voice of Tommy Oliver is trying to imitate the young Jason Taper Frank, even though he's trying it and ain't worth the fuck. Who cares, man? Like the gameplay and the graphics and the story. Yeah, it's like that. Just a little more. You know, I like the fact that you can also run and dash while running at the same time. Like, you always playing as the Green Ranger, you kind of suck at it, though. I'm just saying. This isn't over. Bro, you're not even paying attention to hitting the putty. What are you doing?
I like how you should grab and punch, you should kick him in the knee or stuff like that. A little nice touch. This is funny because back in season one, you can only hit the putties once with just one hit. But in some cases, certain putties can allow like double, like double combos and double hits or whatever. But I'm surprised using two putties in that inning. But this is mostly based on season one, which I'm okay with it basically. But the music in this game is just spot on. I mean, everything about this video is just fantastic though. I'm not gonna lie. We can't quit now. Oh god. Who is working? You might not fall out. Oh, that's tight. You can do the Dragon Mills too? Okay. I like this game. I like this game. Unleash the power. <laughs> Just imagine a, a putty doing that in a TV show, right out of graffiti and all of that. This isn't over. Nah, you can uh, run fast too. While um, it's kind of like an aggressive part. You know, in Mortal Kombat Trilogy, when you doing them combo thing and your character just comes aggressive, I'm getting that kind of vibe here a little bit. Look at the Tango Warrior. Right off the season three.
You can tell this game was made for the fans by the fans because the ones that grew up with Power Rangers, they did their homework just right. You can just see all kinds of weapons, Angel Girl, Youth Center, Reside, Chunky Fried Chicken. We can't quit now. Sounds like a Chunky Fried Chicken. I like how they gave the Tango Warriors the uh the hawk sound, like in the show. And the film as well. We just wanna know what would have been crazy if they had DLC White Ranger and the movie Rangers just for this game. And you could just create a new storyline that is connected from the 95 movie into a season three show, but do it right. You get what I'm saying? Bruh, they get this nigga the dragon missile after he summoned a dragon sword power. I love this. I love this. We can't quit now. This reminds me so much of the movie. Um, and for the S game, like, like you know, certain levels from the movie game, the Super Nintendo version, were just like this small level. Yeah, that part kind of reminds me of it. Like this game is reminding me so much of the Super Nintendo day. Like, I felt like it's been done just right. You know what I'm saying? Man, you gonna get your burger or not? Finally, we're, uh, we're fighting Godar. I like how they, uh, a nice call back to the first episode with the line. Bruh, the music sounds exactly like the Super Nintendo version. Like, I'm not, like, I'm not capping. Yeah, just get him out the way first before you like fight Godar.
This is so good. Digital Eclipse, if you're watching this, thank you for giving us the best looking power on this game that a lot of us have been dreaming of for years. And now we get to play this year in 2024, next month on the 10th of December. I mind you, I might not be able to get it when it comes to downloading content, but if it does end up coming out in physical form in 2025, which I know they're going to do so. I mean, which I know they're gonna do so. I'm gonna pick it up. But until then, I'm just gonna enjoy it and just watch the game plays on YouTube. And when we see like regular people do like some real good game plays on YouTube, we're gonna do some reactions to the game. And somewhere down the line in the future, when I do pick up this game, when it comes out in physical form in the stores. I'm picking us up and we're gonna play these bad boys together. So, what are your thoughts on my reactions? Link to the original video will be down below and I'm gonna catch you.